So in my book, The Easiest Way, I tell the story of creation that my teacher, Ihaliakala, told me one day. And he said that when God put an Adam and Eve on the earth, told them, this is paradise. There is nothing you need to worry. I can provide you with anything you need. But he gave them a gift. He says, I have a gift for you. And he gave them the apple tree. And he says, you don't need it. I can provide you with anything you need. And explain to them that the apple tree represented thinking. And he says, you don't need it. You can think or you can follow me. Can you imagine we are still thinking? And the worst part is that we think we know. Now, that wasn't the problem either. You know what the problem was? God came back and said, hmm, the air is different. Something happens. And what did Adam say? Adam said, she made me do it. That was the first time Adam had to go and find a job. Okay? So we are still trying to find a job when we actually live in paradise. Can you believe it? Anyway, we have a lot to clean. But the most important thing is, again, 100% responsibility. What Adam, the only thing that Adam had to say was, I'm sorry. And that's what God is asking you and me still today, that we just say, I'm sorry. Not because we are guilty. Please do not confuse. 100% responsibility is not synonymous of guilty, okay, or that we are sinners. It means that we did probably a lot of things, and we came in, into this lifetime to make amends, to repair. And this is really an opportunity. It's a gift to be here right now. Instead of us looking at the negative or that the world is, you know, every day is worse, we have to see the gift. And again, problems are not problems, are opportunities. Opportunities to make amends, to repair. But because every time we do that, every time that we delete, uh, we discover who we are then you will realize that no, that is great that you are 100% responsible because then when you delete, you are discovering who you are. Everything is possible. When you go back to zero, when you go back to the void, that that's what you are doing every time you create that empty sta uh, state, is what Deepak Chopra uh, calls the field of all potentiality. It's where really everything uh, is possible. But it's the unknown. I understand you scary. I'm asking you to trust in something that you cannot see, you cannot feel, but it works every time. And again, you have to know it in your heart. And I know what you are thinking, too easy. Because I say, thank you, I love you. Are you familiar with the effect that our thoughts create, for example, in the water, Dr. Emoto studies? I mean, that's why I, I'm here to tell you that something so simple like thank you and I love you can create miracles, can solve problems, can maybe solve the war because somebody is willing to turn on the light. See, because every time we say thank you and I love you, that's what we are doing. We are turning on the light. And very important, we are not here to save anybody. We are here to save ourselves. So when we turn on the light, we do it for our, ourselves. But guess what? It gets turned on for everybody.